All right, just about to get into it here. Unfortunately, did miss the stage uh, choice, but I'm, I'd imagine we're gonna get a, uh, a large stage if we're having two zoners. We're getting PS2, let's not kill it. Let's not. Oh, no, never mind. We, we have Smashville. I know uh, Xcal is a fan of the stage. Oh wait, they're button checking, oh, right? Okay. Because Xcal has to, because Xcal has to freaking stall every set he plays. See, this is this is why we. This is why we. Uh, oh, let's, there we go. Let's go there. This is why we uh, disregard Xcal so much. <laughs> my brother in Christ. Wait, Xcal versus Ludwig Frog was not on stream. No, we went over that. I, I must have missed that. Yeah, and Sayar said in chat it's because he always takes too fucking long. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hence what we're seeing right now. Yeah. Excalibur. Frost just uh, schmooving on the platform. Yeah, we're about to have our uh, hands full of Link here. Yeah. Welcome to Ottawa Smash the Weeklies, everyone. We got Simon versus uh, King DDD, and then immediately following that, we have Link versus Young Link. Toon Link. Oh, Toon Link. All right. They're going over the bands. And they will not start PS2. All right, looks like they might be going back to Smashville. Oh no, town? That's quite a large stage. Alright, we're still not starting. You know, next time XCal plays a set, I'm just gonna time him. <laughs> See how long it takes for him to actually get going. Yep. Who's uh, choosing the stage? Is it uh, XCal? Looks like Frost is. No, uh... I think he's checking the music. Oh, okay. Yeah. Frost checking his music. XCal, uh. I and mean, they went to PS2 after all that. After deciding on the bands, we are back at PS2, so that stage is inevitable. Ooh, Frost going Palu? Question Makes mark? Sense. This is actually a, uh, it's actually kind of a difficult matchup for two and legs, so that doesn't surprise me. That wouldn't surprise me at least. Yeah. Yeah. Frost has uh, quite a handful of characters. even start here. All right, quick down throw in the back here for Frost.
Oh, barely missing the uh, the fire there. The explosive flame. Oh, up smash, barely not killing. Goes for another one. All right, Leshop scenario gets the back air. Wow, the Frost going for seconds, but uh, misses out. Gets another back air for his troubles. Try to go for the down for the counter. Ooh, oh, he misses the no tech, tech on there. that up air. That's a difficult tech, though, because you're really not expecting it. All right, Frost will not get the DDI in. And Exile taking his time will just make it back to ledge slowly. But gets back air again. All right, big combo here from Frost, 44%. Palatin and the early percents can be uh, quite the menace. All right, quite a slow start here, but uh, pretty even. One uh, two link conversion could uh, even up the percentages here. Finally gets it. A lot of small hits there, but uh, finally gets a kill with the explosive flame. Good stuff. Excal just like such a good defensive player. It's so hard to find your way into like big conversions, so you often have to take it one step at a time. But against Toon Link, a lot of the time with those uh, good kill confirms, that will not fly. And Excal playing that on full display there gets the kill at around 110, and now he has uh, taken control of this game. Wow, it almost gets another. I think Excal was kind of uh, taking his time to adapt at the beginning. And now he's uh, kind of walking over Frost a bit. Oh, interesting, I uh, dragged down up here there. Oh, right, misses the forward air. Excal. See if ledge trap is here. Frost missing the ledge cancel. Not gonna get punished too hard for it. Actually gonna end up in an advantageous position because of that. Trying to pressure some back airs now. It's the boomerang there. Excal force has that lead. Oh, the back throw off stage. Oh, misses the on. grab. There it is. And we'll get punished with the game. Right, back to PS2 for game two. All right, and Frost gonna stick with the Palutena. I agree, Cedric, that uh, there's a lot of interesting uh, conversions with Palu up air. Oh, it falls out there. Unfortunate for Frost. I think Excal may be SDIing these because he almost just fell out again. I don't know if that's just the uh, hitbox being bad, but barely, uh, barely hits again. Alright, Excal uh, really making his way back into this one, almost even up completely. Oh, and gets the kill. Excal has just been converting off these bombs to absolute perfection. 
And Frost has not been able to find the same level of finesse that we've seen from Excal, and already putting on an extra 61% of credit. Oh, and gets the kill there. Excal's uh, damage train had to come to a stop. All right, we're back. And Excal's lead has grown Ooh, to down, a whole stock. And Frost really needs to uh, dig deep here and find a weakness in uh, Excal's solid defense. I will say though, Excal is one of the, the strongest defensive players at this uh, at, at at our uh, local here. Just you know, he, he plays slowly, but he plays accurately, and he he always you know knows how to clamp down on every scenario. Oh wow, that upper hit. Oh, I think if he pulled the trigger on that, he actually might have been able to get the kill. Yeah, I don't think he's expecting that to hit though. Kind of a strange upper there. All right, another up tilt. And Frost really has to kind of clean up his approaches here because he keeps getting up tilted kind of on the dash ins. X has uh, kind of downloaded the movement here. Oh, goes for the ledge trump, but a little bit yeah, too uh, early on the trigger, and that will do it. Oh, oh no, no. he gets the great DI there from Frost. There yeah. he's able to live. Quite a lot of rage, so uh, I'm quite surprised he didn't die from that. Well, at least on life, that should do it, though. Yeah. And that will, Excal taking it to... Oh, and moving on to the winner's final. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, 